Hello there everyone, Pigeon Detective here. Now, after the long anticipated wait, the colony has finally, finally been released. Now, this video is going to be me opening the five packs, editing a deck that I've already actually just had a little look at to see what the cards are like for colony. And then uh, I'll be jumping into a 3v3 ranked blitz. Now, I won't have any teammates, so we'll just see how it goes. It's just to see how the deck is. Right, first pack. Obviously, it's all banished cards, Goliaths, Vehicle Symbiotes, Skitter a Mob, another Skitter a Mob, so level 2 now, and Hunter Captain. Hunter Captain does look very good. The fact it can attack aircraft makes it actually quite good for me, because I, I don't like uh, hero units that can't attack air units. Scarred Hunters, Vehicle Symbiotes, level 2 now. Oh, okay, another one. Enduring Locust. I love the fact. Yes, level 2 Locust. Come on. I think the main reason I'll probably use Colony is the fact that he will have free Locusts, which is just going to be nuts. Goliath again. Living Barrier. Okay. Yes, come on, give me more Enduring Locusts. Uh, okay, Living Barrier. Living Barrier again. Okay. So I've got two more packs. Colony seems to have quite a few cards in his deck. Scarred Hunters level 2, damage and range, okay. More Goliaths. Engineer Swarm, okay. Come on, please, I just want one, one more Locust. Be a Locust. Yes, okay, I've got level 3 Locust, that's good. Good start, good start. Last and final pack for obviously Colony. Scarred Hunters, more Scarred Hunters, Skitter a Mob, Vehicle Symbiotes, and more Vehicle Symbiotes, so level 3 Vehicle Symbiotes. Okay, so let's go into the decks. This is a deck I've already edited to see what I would roughly play. The Goliaths I'm not sure I will like, just based on the fact they're not green on anything. They're weak against vehicles, they're average against infantry so I don't I'm not sure on them I'll probably have to use them in normal deathmatch or a normal mode to see just to get a grip of what they're like uh, hunters of course anti-vehicle locust I've got elite rangers over the assault elites just because my elite rangers are two levels higher and I prefer that if they were the same level though, I'd have assault elites every day uh, Reva I don't actually have vehicle symbiotes just because I don't know how long it will last. So I'd rather have Living Barrier so I can block stuff off. Especially in Blitz, that would be key. So if you've got C, you can literally essentially just block off that whole line and stop them from getting anything. Uh, Blood Fuel, Fuel Locust, obviously, because they're just good. Engineer Swarm, because so, I don't have Engineer in my deck, so I've got an Engineer Swarm to heal. Uh, Enduring Locust and Prowling Reaver, and then... On page 3 I've got Skitter and Mob because I want to try this out. If I don't like it I probably will put something else in. Blisterbacks because I've got level 7 Blisterbacks and they're good. And a Hunter Captain because I really want to try them out. Right. So I'll just favourite that. And a new season should have started. Oh my god they've changed it. They don't have rank brawl anymore. Oh, so they've got rank one v one. Do you know what? Let's just jump into a rank one v one and just see what it's like. Of course, I'd go up against a level fifty. All right, let's just see what it's like. Give Colony a go. The good thing is, he's Colony, so hopefully it will come down to who's got the more Colony, like the higher level Colony stuff. Right, so let's go for the energy. The thing that Colony I could see being weak against is air, because he doesn't have any specialist anti-air or just anything aircraft really, so... Oh my god, it's like a robot. Game starts in 
Three, two, one, begin. How may I serve the ship master? Approaching. So he's got the same as me. Energy dropped. <laughs> Zone P captured. Gain the lead. Zone P captured. So that guy's got a chopper. He's gonna get me. To, he's gonna beat me to that energy. Locus ready to rain. Locus moving to position. Powering up propulsion engines. Energy low. Energy dropped. Zone C contested. Beware of targets. Zone A lost. It will be done. Can anyone take out those air units? First blood. Right, so he's going to win that just because of that. He's got level 4 Goliaths, okay. Let's just pull this Banshee back. He's coming towards C. Let's get rid of the hunter captain because there's not too much. Energy low. I don't command. So he's got a blister back over there. Right, because I've got the engineers, this is going to be... Yeah, look, he can't attack aircraft, so I was... I was right. Right, I think I've got this one. Yeah, I've got this. This, this guy's not going to beat me here. You can contest B all you want, but you're not going to win it. I'm not even fast about getting energy at this point because I've got the win. Energy 
Engineer Swarm. Okay, so it's like arc uh, defense. Okay. The thing is, the colony's not got not got any offensive abilities either, which is quite good. So it means I don't have to worry about eradication or anything like that. But th that's a win for me. I'll take that. But like this guy had, because obviously I had a, a higher level blister back, I could easily just sit there and just counter him. He didn't have enough reavers. So Colony's weakness for me is pretty clear. It doesn't it needs more anti-air or something it's just stuff that can attack air. It spent a lot more energy than I did. Which didn't kill much. Hmm, okay. And that's a that's a win for my first one V one ranked as well, so I'll take that. My actually my win record in this game is actually pretty good. About 60-65% which I'm very happy with. So yeah, that's number one done. Uh, I will be doing more videos of this now that the updates come out. I will be doing uh, how to build your deck around the new changes and stuff like that. Because Kodiaks have been slightly nerfed just because their rate of fire has been adjusted. So, And Locusts have got a damage decrease. But with Colony being able to have a third Locust means you don't have to cycle energy as often. So it makes it just as more as powerful. But yeah, uh, I've been Pigeon Detective. I hope you enjoyed this little get bit of gameplay and a little bit of pack opening of Blitz. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in Blitz. Goodbye.